welcome to WRPB and WRPB Studios. With me today is Freddie the Artist with Art Spot Airbrush. How are you doing today? I'm doing very, very well. I'm it's glad to be nice here. To, very nice to meet you. I'm so glad you joined me. So I have a lot of questions because sure. you have all this wonderful stuff. But my first question is, how did you get started in this type of career? Okay, well... I started off as a graffiti writer in New York City. Oh, uh, a wanted graffiti? Very much. Okay, okay. okay. Do you spend but, any time in jail? No, we don't do that. <laughs> He's like, I didn't get caught, right? <laughs> exactly. So anyway, so I, I moved easily from spray paint to airbrushing. Uh, okay. It was both mediums where you don't touch the surface that you're working with, so it was easy for me to move from one to the next. And uh, yeah, from there it went on. All right, so all the things that we have in front of us are very cool, but you've been doing this, so I, I assume you didn't graffiti art as a, an adult. No. Okay, so when did we start with the whole art aspect of your life? About 34 years ago, I started practicing doing it. 32 years ago, I started doing it for people, for money, uh, professionally. Okay. And uh, I started off doing uh, jackets and uh, pants and so on like that, which were pretty fashionable at the time. And, I remember uh, those days. Oh, yeah. And then we moved on from there to doing uh, lots and lots of big projects like events and so on like that. Okay. And then uh, about five, six years ago, we started doing the sports balls, which has been like a godsend for us because they're very popular. They're very cool also. I have a question about your graffiti art. Sure thing. Uh, you don't have to tell the city, but if you went back to where you originally did the tagging, is your work still there? I still have a little bit still there, and we're talking about Brooklyn, New York. I think that's super cool, <laughs> um, obviously. So you probably have some candid shots of, of oh, your yeah. work. Oh, yeah. I've got, lo I've got lots of stuff. I've, I've seen video uh, videos on YouTube with my stuff going by on the trains and that stuff was like, like that's that. That's what I was going to really say. I love, uh, I come from a small town, and there's a train that runs every day through the middle of town. That's my favorite part. It, God forbid if I get stuck waiting, is seeing all the cool graffiti so for all we know i've seen some of your work before you came in today it's possible i've done some freight trains and stuff <laughs> <laughs> so now that you do these wonderful balls um i know that's not all that you do but so if i decide that i want to get my son or daughter um one of the balls from you do i have to supply my own ball no no we provide everything uh you just have to go to our website Fill out all of the forms telling you, you know, to figure out exactly what it is that you want. And we ship it right out to you. And if you're local, you can come pick it up. But most of our work is in California, Texas, uh, Georgia, you name it. We ship all over the country. I mean, we've even done some stuff out of the country in Canada. And uh, so, yeah, we, sh we ship anywhere. It's that not a problem. That is awesome. Now, when I'm filling out this form, obviously, do I get to choose which, if I want a soccer ball or a oh, basketball? Oh, most certainly, most certainly. Uh, we primarily do soccer balls, footballs, okay. basketballs, oh, football and volleyballs. Cool. Uh, yeah, we, we f footballs are our least popular thing. Really? Soccer balls and basketballs are king, 100%. Um, we do a lot of them. We ship out a lot of those. That is so awesome. So, so do I get to choose my colors as well? 100%. You choose what's going on it. Uh, none of these balls here that we're displaying have it, but we do um, mascots, cartoon characters, you name it. Um, so we, we add all of that in it, uh, team logos, okay. including like... Uh, little teams like travel ball teams and so on like that they want their team mascot on there we make it happen yeah, why wouldn't you make it happen because every not every child but so many children in america grow up playing, playing sports sp yeah from as from four years old up so, oh yeah 100 yeah. percent. and we do a lot of stuff for young ball uh, young uh, boys and girls uh we do the smaller size balls for them like the bitty balls and stuff that's right that's oh, right heck yeah so yes yeah, not yeah. just these are full-size balls but it's, we don't just do full-size balls okay so when you do the artwork on these obviously basketballs get air in them yes are they completely full of air when you do your work uh we don't put them completely full um, there, if you try to bounce them right away, they, they'll, they'll have a little less bounce than they do, but we do that because we don't want the, um, the, uh, artwork to be put under so much pressure unless it needs to be. Absolutely. So I, I suppose you probably don't take out enough air that whenever we 
fill it to regulation. It doesn't like stretch. The no, no, no. The paint like stretches. That. The paint stretches. Okay. I mean, it doesn't stretch much because it's it's almost full. And uh, these balls, we've even had them uh, go to Israel uh, in particular um, for a bar mitzvah for, for centerpieces because people use them for oh, centerpieces wow. on top of the tables. Oh, I bet that was really cool. It's uh, absolutely amazing. And they deflated them and they put them in the luggage and took them and they blew them back up in Israel and bang, no oh, problem. Wow. wow. So they can be deflated, they can be inflated, it's no problem. They can be played with even though we tell them not to do that but we know they do it because they send those pictures and videos of them doing it well and they're children <laughs> of course you know they it's are. like they can't have a cool toy and not bounce it so i can only imagine all the differences you've seen in paint uh, since your early days sure sure paint has come a long way the technology of paint has definitely come a long way paints are not, not as toxic as they used that to be um we work with uh, we we have automotive clears in the airbrush world uh which are water-based which is something that was unheard of at one point. Uh, everything was extremely toxic in, in that type of realm. Okay, so I know that you have some t-shirts down on the floor um, yes. as well. Yes. Now, do you also sell your t-shirts? Oh, for sure. We sell t-shirts, hooded sweatshirts, hats. If you can wear it, we sell it, including bags. We do bags. Um, we do uh, gift card boxes, which are when you go to a party, Yes. And instead of handing the host a, an envelope, you put it inside this mailbox. And I make the mailboxes. They're cardboard mailboxes. I paint the whole outside of it to match the theme of your party. Or, mostly it's for kids. Uh, or we can do it that's related to a hobby of the kid. Like sometimes the party theme is right. not related to baseball or basketball or racing cars. But we will make that box for them even though it's not the theme of the party. How did you come up with that idea? That is a very unique um, be quite honest, somebody asked me for it, and I was like, hmm. Light bulbs. <laughs> I could do that. And I uh, I went and I created the, the pattern for the boxes and uh, bought a die for it, and now we just cut the boxes out. And, oh, wow. And now we, we fold them. Do, 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 do. I bet that's a big seller, too. Oh, my God. Like, I can't even imagine, like, you know, obviously my daughter is no longer a child, but I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, why did I not have that option? That it wasn't because, existing. Well, yeah, because, I mean, that, that's the one thing that's missing at the party. It's like you have all this neat stuff, and then you have 95 gift cards, and it's like... Okay. Yeah, and but, it, it stops you from having, as the host, from holding these things around with you. Absolutely. And it also keep makes sure that the birthday person gets them. Oh, yeah. You know, that... Oh, yeah. Because, you oh, know, yeah. children are funny children children so back to your clothing <laughs> options if sure. i buy a shirt mm -hmm. can i put it through the washing machine oh, of course we heat set them so basically we have a big iron okay that goes at uh, 350 degrees which is hotter than anything that you have in your house okay. and we literally press them and uh, when it comes out you can wash them in the washer uh we Recommend not to throw them in the dryer because the dryer beats down anything. I Absolutely. don't care what it is. Absolutely. The shirt you're wearing right now, you throw it in the dryer. Trust me, after a couple of years, it's it's lighter than when you bought well, it. What are you talking about? This is like 30 years old. I mean, it was like pristine back then. Every time I wear it, I'm like, well, eventually it'll be white. It'll be okay. Okay, so we can, we can do all. So on a shirt, do you do... You can do anything. Do you do a lot of names on shirts, or I mean, how we do, do you... we do uh, everything we do it tends to be name driven in some way. Okay. Um, you know, if we do a Fortnite shirt, for instance, it's generally going to have the kid's name on it. Every once in a while, they just want it to say Fortnite or something like that. But you know, if we do a Fortnite shirt, it's generally going to say the kid's name. Well, if it doesn't, you know, you're selling that to an adult. <laughs> you might be right about that. You're probably right about that. <laughs> Um, you know, well, has anyone worn any of your clothing to a wedding? And the reason I ask that is because I was talking about theme weddings the other day, and Fortnite was one of the things that was kicked around. So has it made, to, it's made been it to a, a while. wedding yet? It's been a while, but yes. Are uh, you serious? I, yes. Um, I remember I did a, uh, a party in, I believe it was in Connecticut, and uh, it was a cowboy theme on a ranch. And I painted cowboy hats. Okay. So, yeah, and everybody wore cowboy hats at the party. That was a pretty cool thing. Heck, yeah, that's also a wonderful parting gift for the people that got to join Most in. certainly, that's yeah. Very what we do, one of the main things that we do is we work at events. This okay. is, this is a, um, something that's taken off for us relatively recently with the balls. We go to events, 
and we paint party favors, just like a character artist would be at a party and sketch you mm -hmm. out. Well, instead, I'll do 100 paintings at the party in five hours. So I'll paint wow. something for all of the kids, generally. Sometimes we do corporate stuff and colleges, and the colleges will have us come and we'll paint stuff for them. I've worked for the United States Army uh, for their recruiting um, uh, recruiters, and I'd go to college after college and state after state, and I would just paint for the, for the kids on the back of the Army shirts. Oh, I love that. Uh, so we do corporate stuff. We do a lot of bar mitzvahs, a lot of sweet 16s, and a lot of quinceaneras. And the kids will come over, and we have a bunch of designs. They'll pick out one of the designs, and I'll paint it for them right there. At the party? Right there at the party. They get it before they leave at the, leave the party. How many options do you give them to choose from? Well, uh, we, years ago, we used to have about 150 different designs <laughs> for them to pick from. But recently, we've gone to a format where we're doing more like around 20 different designs. And these are full-blown paintings, you know, the things like Fortnite and, and so on like that. Um, TikTok, uh, all sorts of things, and uh, cartoon characters a lot of times. Sometimes they're just plain, straight-up names. If we wanted to do a true caricature at a party, can you do that as well? We can, but I don't do that quite often. I don't blame you. Yeah, it's time-consuming, and I, don't, that, I can't it, produce the numbers. It's not as original as what you're doing either. No, it's not, because, yeah, it's just not. So you have had a very interesting life, a very colorful life. Extremely. Of all the things that you've been al allowed to do through the gift that God gave you of art, what's your favorite? I gotta say, painting horses. It's probably oh. my favorite thing. I've literally painted on horses who performed in a ceremony um, of quite a few years ago, and that was scary as heck I because bet. horses don't like being painted. I promise you that. They don't like being painted. I don't want to know because I've never even been on a horseback ride because they're so big and massive. That is they're really powerful. cool. They're powerful. It's scary. That is really, really cool. What's the least favorite thing you've done? That's a, hmm, least favorite. No one's ever asked me that. I had to ask one stumping question when, when you're over here. I want to say Cars. Uh, cars and motorcycles, only because there's so much, so much of a penalty if you if things don't go right. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. You know, if I paint a basketball, it doesn't go right. Chuck it and put another one up there. So I know that we are only scratching the sur surface of the many things that you do. So for those of us watching today, if we want to know more about Freddie the Artist, where do we find you? Um, you would go to our website, which is artspotairbrush.com. You can find us on Instagram, which is art.spot.airbrush. Everything else on social media is just artspotairbrush. From Facebook to Twitter, you name it, artspotairbrush. We have it all covered with that. What if I want to call you? That would be easy. Just call me on my phone number, which is 561 Eight zero seven seven four three one. Well, Freddie, I appreciate you joining me on the set today. Thank you for it having me. It has been a learning experience. Your work is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And I just think it's amazing all the cool, interesting things that you're doing that other people aren't thinking I wish about. I could tell you everything what we do. Well, we don't want to know everything. We have to leave a little time to learn about you, right? Hey, contact me, and we can make sure I, I let you know everything else we do. Awesome. All right, guys, if you're looking for an interesting gift idea and an interesting party idea or just something to make your child small, look up Freddie the Artist at Art Spot. Airbrush. Thanks for joining us today and have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you.